here knowing the expectations is a little bit elevated this time around year three for you for this team I think we understand that uh, you know winning is, is always tough to do but our team is going to work hard I think we got a hungry football team that wants to win that wants to put in the work we understand that we had some big wins last year but we had some other games that uh, we didn't play very well in we've got to become more consistent and I know our team we've talked about it communicated it uh, we need to work hard to make sure that every every week we come ready to play. Hey Jeff, talk about the offensive line and where that's at right now. Well, it's a work in progress. So our offensive line, uh, really we have two guys that have played, no one else has. So we've got to just make sure we uh, get them in there as much as we can, put them through as much as we can in game situations, give them plenty of work, uh, school them up in the film room. Uh, you know, they got to be able to take the field game one confident that they can play and produce and do it at a high level. And that's going to be up to us as coaches. and players to take responsibility and ownership to make sure that happens. You just plan to rotate guys in there and just try to find the best five at some point? I think right now, uh, you know, we feel pretty confident of three guys that uh, we think will be in the, in the mix for sure. And then uh, really, uh, there's about seven others that are fighting for two spots. And we've got to make sure that we get a good look at them and uh, give them an opportunity to show what they can do. And yes, it would be great if all of them step forward and do some good things where we feel comfortable making it competitive and, and, and playing multiple guys throughout the game. What freshmen have caught your eye? Well, uh, you know what, uh, when, when you're out here with just uh, helmets on, you never can truly tell up front exactly what you have. But I know at the receiver position, uh, Rashawn Rice and Milton Wright uh, definitely stood out as guys that have made plays. I think we have two young tight ends that have a chance to do some special things. Um, you know, in the, uh, you know, of course, on defense, George Galapas has stood out ever since he got here, and Jalen Graham in the secondary, and uh, those two have been constant uh, in their ability, and I do think there's some new guys that are, will, will have a chance. It's just uh, they're green, and they haven't been exposed to as much uh, stuff to this point, but I, I like our freshman class. We're going to give them every opportunity to play. Well, you mentioned George Karlopas, maybe one of one of, if not the best player on the defensive side of the ball during the spring. What went into that comment and how has he performed? What's What's been so good about him? You know, we had a few guys out in, in the spring. So, you know, the Baileys were out uh, and Lorenzo Neal was out. And those are outstanding players. I think George uh, stepped in day one and we told him when he got here, we'd give him an opportunity to showcase what he could do and we put him into ones and uh, he deserved to go there. And he produced every day. And I know he got a little injured later on in the spring, but uh, has a high motor plays with great energy, he's tough, he can react, he's got some rawness, but in a good way. I mean, he goes hard and he finishes at the ball uh, and he definitely has stood out. And the same thing with Jalen Graham in the secondary. He's big, he's tall, he's long, he's learned a lot uh, throughout the last six months. Uh, he's been a great presence and uh, very smart and uh, physical on defense. And I think those two guys definitely stood out as, as freshmen that uh, really have a chance to be special. What do, you, what do you like about the makeup of your captains? It's always important, uh, especially when we have quite a bit of youth on the team, that uh, you know the captains take charge of the team, and uh, some lead by example more so than talk. Others, you know, talk quite a bit. But it's important to all of our players when those guys talk, uh, they shut up and they listen and they, uh, you know, understand what they're saying and, and put in the work to try to uh, improve and get better and. and able to take constructive criticism in order to improve but you know, there's got to be some voices on the team in all reality you know that your best teams are the teams that are uh, coached by your players uh, guys that want to win and it means something to them and you know I told our guys uh, yesterday you know the difference in a championship team and the other teams is really not so much talent it's a it's a mindset and it's a mindset that you know we're going to find a way to win we're going to do whatever it takes to get it done we're going to take the field with that manner and we're not going to take no for an answer and uh, you know I, I think we have to work hard to get that done. Hey Jeff no quarterback controversy this year for the first time this is Elijah's team what's that like knowing who your guy is going to be and how's he looking so far? I think Elijah will take good command of the team uh, as you guys know he has a big arm he's played some good football but at other times uh, you know he's had some deficiencies at turning the ball over and not making good decisions and I think he understands those are things he has to correct but they are correctable. So we're looking forward to seeing him make those uh, strides and, and make progress in that area because I do think he can be very efficient for us uh, and run this offense uh, very well. And uh, hopefully we keep him healthy. But it is important to always have your backups ready to go. And I think Jack Palmer and Aiden O'Connor are two guys we feel comfortable with as guys that are improving, getting better, that need to be ready when their time is called.